Okay, another interesting effector is a shader. As you can see, if you assign any effector with its parameter, it control the um, position, rotation of the clone. But with a shader, you can uh, control the position and the transform of the object of the cloner just with a map black and white map if you select a shader as you can see in the effector it's assigned its shader here in the cloner if you click on a shader we have uh, like other effector uh, the sitting that i explained before say it again please refer to the previous lessons uh, as you can see, we have the parameter deformer and a new tab called shading that we can do a lot of things here. Uh, there are clothes that you can open them here. Uh, in a parameter, as you can see, the default it scale it. I want to go to the position and in a y axis uh, bring them up all. As you can see, the whole cloner uh, bring in a y axis in uh, 500 millimeters. Going back to the shader, the first thing that you want to ex I want to explain here is the channel. If you assign a texture on a shader that I give you a, lo a lot of example to uh, example and idea tutorials, but here we need just custom shader. The channel means if you assign your texture, for example, here you, uh, any texture that you assign in the color, luminance, bump, Normal, you have to tell the shader that, okay, please read that. But now you can define a black and white texture to that. From here, if you click it, it's exactly uh, the open like the texture. If you, for example, I will be explaining the texture in a uh, next lesson in a texture section. If you double click, as you can see, for example, in, in a color, in this texture, you can load your texture, load noise, and any texture here. It's like exactly in a shader. In a shader, you can assign, for example, a, a first thing that I want to keep it, uh, tell you here is a noise. Don't worry about all of them. Interesting part happened. Uh, instead of noise, come here in surface i insert a checkerboard as you can see if you go to select a checkerboard we have one black and white image you can drop them to the five to see it better but we have a problem here that i explained to solve it as you can see we have a black and white image if you go to the shader again in a strings, as you can see, it's uh, it's set on a gray. It means it is work with a black and white. The black part maintains zero strings of that that parameter. It means we set the position of y axis. If it is black, it means it is zero, and if it is white, it means it's a high maximum number of here. And the gray is in between them. If you go back to the shading parameter here, you can assign. Uh, but what's the problem here? Because of if you go into the uh, cloner, now the time is to explain in a transfer UV orientation. <clears throat> As you can see, it seems the shader is a texture a project from this direction and you can't see it here project from z axis but we want to project from y axis to see the checkerboard from above and here you can assign it to the y axis and as you can see the checkerboard will be appear here this is a black area that does not change its position and this is a white area it goes uh, the maximum number that you assign in a parameter in shader. Okay, that's very easy. Uh, here you can uh, assign the length 
as you can see you can change the length in a u and v if you don't want to the tile you can turn it on or off or explaining if i insert my texture if you go to the checkerboard you can define any color that here select the shader again you can assign interesting thing like noise select it here and select the noise as you can see it's bumping big uh, like noise here if you select the noise you can access a lot of sitting above the noise that i will be explaining them in uh, material section uh, tutorial but here you can change the noise type for example this noise type as you can see the black area maintain zero and the white area going up and interesting part about the noise just i want to explain it here is the animation speed if you increase your animation you have interesting animation about that and as you can see we have on some gray part that goes in between them and the cloner show it with uh, uh, not such color here you can assign this as you can see we have a different animation there interesting if you want to insert your texture for example i in uh, i prepare a texture with a black area and a tc the white in the middle you can insert it in a texture here so you have to clear that and as you can see load your image from your pc okay as you can see i insert my texture and this is my tc why is that in this direction i think i have to go to cloner and negative wire yeah. you go your your cloner in a transform so you learn this option now what is uv orientation above the projection of your texture in a shader effector now as you can see the black area maintains zero and the white area may go higher so you can go to parameter if you for example not changing position um, just i want to change the scale as you can see the, the white area will be scale uniformly or you can scale it down if you want it's depend on your parameter that you shared it. the parameter of the shader is, is exactly like the other parameter that you can mapping your parameter with the texture in a shader and interesting we have a shader tab so you can assign your texture here you can change the tiling here um, as you can see uh, if you turn it for these types uh, changing the tiling and scaling your texture you have to go to the texture mode here and then uh, going to the texture mode i think yeah i have a texture here but it does not appear because i forget to you have to assign a texture uh, here and assign the texture on shader to define it if you uh, insert your texture here you have to go to instead of custom texture you have to assign the color texture here or and then assign it here uh, don't worry about it i will be give you a lot of example that you can understand it okay this is a shader and now with a custom you can assign your texture noise to uh, mapping your parameter in that you define in here so if you click on a noise you can access a lot of texture here that i have to explain it in texture because they are very uh, huge 
But you can use a noise and animate it, animate a loop, animate a GIF. It's very interesting. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.